Well, tonight, plans to bring a senior apartment complex to East Orange County are being met with some serious opposition. So the proposal calls for building a mix of two and one bedroom units along Woodbury Road in the Waterford Lakes neighborhood. And it's not the first time that property has been targeted for development. Anchor Justin Warmuth joins us now. And Justin, neighbors were able to fight off the last proposal. Yeah, Lisa, that was back in 2020 when the same developer tried to build a 63-unit complex on that same piece of land. He ended up pulling the bid, admitting it was too ambitious. So it's now down to 36 units exclusively for those 55 and older. And while the proposal has changed, the concerns from folks who live in Waterford Lakes remain the same. This is a single family community, single family homes. It's just right in the middle of a neighborhood that aesthetically all looks the same. This is the one thing that's going to be the eyesore. But for longtime Waterford Lakes residents, Tara Crary and Andrew Garrett, the look of an apartment complex in their neighborhood is just the tip of the iceberg. This is the property behind me. It's 1.8 acres, and this is why people have a problem with this proposal. This is Discovery Middle School. So literally, this proposed development is right in front of the school, and this entrance would be shared by the complex. They'd be sharing with the school buses, uh, vehicles going in and out of there. And then across the street from Discovery Middle, across Woodbury Road, you have Waterford Elementary, a total of 1,400 students between the two schools. Quite a so, few students. So many walking or biking to school. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, there's grave concern for the children at Waterford Elementary and Discovery Middle. I don't see, really see how they're gonna jeopardize student safety. With the small amount of 36 units, you might create a couple of cars coming in and out maybe during school time. Carlos Rivero is the project's developer. I think the residents are saying these roads are already in trouble. They are already packed. But you're saying that this development as it's proposed will have no impact on, on, on the I'm track. allowed right now. I can tomorrow, I can submit plans, building plans for 18 units. Open age, senior, any age, no restrictions. The Orange County Public Works, the traffic department, did their study and compared to that open age market, compared to the senior market, I'm actually creating 11 trips less per day. If they're gonna to argue to me that we have too much traffic, well, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing in less traffic than what, what I could be bringing. 55 year olds are still working. It's not a retirement community. It's not a supported living arrangement. It is 55 and up apartment. Now a challenge from the developer standpoint is that Orange County is in the design phase of widening Woodbury Road. It's a long needed project that will offer some relief through here, but the county needs some of the developer's land to make that widening project a reality. I've heard numbers from 13 feet all the way up now to 57 feet that they're gonna take. So, and the effect that that has is you got to go vertical right. uh, if and you're going to get the density, the and that's not what the people want. Ideally, what would you like to see with that property? Ideally, this would stay a green space. It's a very small parcel, and it doesn't lend itself to really any development. The property owner also has rights, so so we have to try to, to come them to a, a happy median that where the developer can still come in and do something with this property, but also something that will benefit the community, the immediate community. So a community meeting was held last week, giving residents a chance to ask the developer questions about the project. It now heads to Orange County's Planning and Zoning Board for a meeting next month. We'll keep you posted on how things go. It's an interesting debate, to say the <laughs> least, because as yeah. you said, as the property owner, he has rights. Mm -hmm. While that story was airing, I actually got a message from a viewer said that was my old neighborhood. The traffic out there is nuts. That's my current neighborhood, yeah. <laughs> and I can confirm that the traffic is terrible out there. But I will say... It could be a lot worse than a 55 and older who won't be then putting their kids in those schools because right. right. their kids are older. Right, and, and when we're talking about 36 units, right? And, mm -hmm. and that's the thing is I cover a ton of these stories mm -hmm. and it's somewhere between Hundreds. 800 yeah. or yeah. 1,700 units. Mm -hmm. But when you see and you really see that property and you see mm -hmm. its proximity, to the school, I can understand where the community is coming from, but mm -hmm. I also can understand where the developer is coming from. He wants to put a senior apartment complex on in there. It is yeah. needed. Something like that is needed all throughout Central Florida. We have a lack of senior exclusive housing. It's true. Mm -hmm. And so it's a battle back and forth. We'll see what happens. We'll see yeah. what, the, yeah. what the county uh, decides on whether to approve this or or. You have to have the go roads. back to the drawing board. You have so. to have the roads before you can bring in the people. So yeah, we'll see how that, that road that road project is going. We'll see if when that finally We've gets to We've heard that one before, Justin. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs>